Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is the MacBook Pro uh, A1708 and we do have a problem, it does turn on, but the main issue is that the keyboard and the trackpad aren't actually working. Um, so we want to see exactly why that is. Uh, we do get this inter very interesting screen, you don't see this one too often, but it does show here that it's asking for like a Bluetooth uh, connection for the mouse and the keyboard. You can see there's the mouse that does come up and there's uh, it's it's telling you to turn on, on on each side of the, the mouse and the keyboard but it's throwing a fit that the mouse and keyboard are actually working you can see this totally just doesn't work at all we want to see really what the issue is um, we're not too sure it just all of a sudden happened we want to see why it did happen so uh, let's just go ahead open up and see what the actual issue may be all right so we just want to flip it open or at least flip it over and take it open and we want to see really what the issue is with this. Uh, it's very interesting if that's not working. Um, sometimes it can be if you've ever seen the, like, the older models. Sometimes it could be that trackpad cable that goes in there. And usually it does make none of them work. The trackpad and the keyboard. Uh, the client did say though they were able to sometimes get to the... At least they were able to get one time. I don't know if sometimes. But they were able to get to the actual operating system itself. And they were able to see the login screen but they couldn't uh, type and they couldn't log in so let's see what the problem is and i think it was a little bit intermittent so it kind of did work i believe that's that was the main issue but you can see that that was a big problem there take this off at least remove the battery connection and also there's a plate that goes on on top of here but don't worry about that we remove that so we want to take this up and see really what the problem is um let's Actually, first, what we want to do is we want to see if there's anything that we really do notice here. So you see some of the cable is actually a little bit uh, moved here. Uh, and you can see it's not the greatest. There might be some liquid spill on it. So that's probably what we're really going off here. Uh, we want to at least remove this first and see if there's really anything that we do notice right away. So um, we don't really see too much on the board here. Let's just take this back. Oh, and you can see actually there's a little black dot here. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. This is as far as I can go at least on here. And you can kind of see that there is a nice little black dot here as well. And actually, I think the best way would be to go under the microscope. But we do see this is the number one thing that we see first. And let's see if there's anything else that we do notice. So we can do a quick little scan on the board, at least on the top part here. Let's see if there's an issue. And a good way to also do is to look at the bottom cover to see if there's any liquid spill. We obviously know that there is some type of damage there, but if there's anything else that we might see, uh, nothing that we really can see it's just a little bit dusty there but all right so i think what we can do is at least take a look at this under the microscope and that will be at least a pretty good start and we will see it does look like it's some type of burn mark or something but we can see a lot better under the microscope so let's just go ahead and do that so we want to see this is what our cable looks like you can see that there is some damage there i'm going to get some type of liquid or something you can see right here you gotta see it's a little bit different than the other ones so you can see that this is pretty severe here, um, especially you can see where the trace kind of goes. Uh, this, we would definitely just want to replace this cable. There's no point of fixing a, a cable. Um, if you actually want to go ahead and check it out, we do have these cables uh, in our store. You can go ahead and check them out. Well, we just use one of those. I think that would probably be the best way. So let's not worry too much about the cable, but it's just nice to see the type of damage that uh, we're dealing with here. So it does look like it's some type of liquid. Again, we're just gonna replace this cable. It's not gonna worry about it. Let's focus on the main connection here because this that's a pretty easy step to, to at least focus on. Um, so this is what we're really worried about here because we do see that, that there is a big impact that's actually on the board itself. So this is a great indication. Um, if you do ever have a liquid spill, you wanna make sure that you do turn it off right away. Um, the more you use it, the more damage that can possibly happen to this. So we do see that there is quite a bit of damage here. And you can see it is where two of the major pins do go. At least it does turn on, which is fantastic. But we can see, especially on the microscope where it was hard to see before, now we can see that the pins are very well impacted here. So we're going to see if there's anything we can really do for this one because this is a definitely a tricky one. Because uh, usually this, is a, this part is actually soldered to the actual board itself. So the connect connections will be very difficult to at least remove or anything like that. But we want to see if we can possibly do just a repair on here. So let's go ahead and see what we can do.
So let's at least remove the trackpad and to get the trackpad cable, that's number one thing. Plus we also want to see if there's any damage to the, the actual trackpad itself. Alright, so let's so take this out. This comes out. Well, now we want to see if there's any damage to the actual trackpad itself. You can see there's a little bit, you see a little bit of the, the liquid on the side. But it uh, looks like the components actually do look to be pretty good. Nothing else would really be impacted, but just a little bit on the sides there. And a little bit on the metal pieces there. Um, can be micro drops, but uh, this actually looks pretty good. We didn't really see anything else. Usually what happens, especially around this side, you can see the battery will block it most of the time. And it's, it's, not, it's not like it's really a good thing for the battery to block it, but uh, at least it didn't uh, impact battery itself because the battery is totally fine and it looks like it did cover at least part of the components as you can see at least on uh, the edges up here especially that you can see a little bit of a stain there but everything looks to be pretty fine and uh, we're just going to be really replacing the cable because uh, that's definitely what you want to do so, all right, so put it in I need to plug it in. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I did. <laughs> always, you have to always plug these in for the first time. They just throw a fit. If you don't, if you just plug in the battery, and you just turn it on. They always have to have that charger plugged in. Right, let's see. Oh, there we go. Well, we didn't figure our password, but at least this is working now. This looks pretty good. See if we can get into like uh we would like to check the keyboard too. We can actually check it It'll be right over here. What? All right, it's looking pretty good actually. We've got our password, but hey, we're at least we're pretty good. It's everything seems to be working totally fine. So you can see that. Uh, just you no know, gesture here, but yep, so everything seems to be pretty fine here. So, uh, looks good. And we're not getting that icon anymore. If you remember, the icon was about the. The, US, the Bluetooth mouse, and we also had a problem with uh, connecting for the keyboard as well. That's at least eliminated here because it does recognize that something has been plugged in and it is working. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the repair for the A1708 MacBook Pro. This was the, the trackpad that did have a burn connection on the actual board itself. You did see that we were able to repair the burn for that at least enough for the cable to at least recognize it and the macbook to recognize it which is good it's fantastic this one man we pushed it really to the bone because of the pin that was actually there we had to, to really push it as far as you possibly can it needs to be exposed it needs to make contact with it so we were able to do that but we do lots of macbook pro, pro repairs uh, go ahead uh, subscribe for more content on that we do get a lot of m1 chip ones in uh, we do we just actually had a video on that one and we're making a lot more videos on those so go ahead and stay tuned we do lots of cool repairs for not just liquid spills we also do power issues especially there's a usb-c issue um, with a lot of them uh, that still do have that problem they're supposed to be going to the max safe soon uh, we'll see if that's going to change <laughs> the repairs that we have here but uh, stay tuned for any of those uh, subscribe for more content like that leave a like if you did find this video very informative and enjoyed it and um, thanks a lot for watching bye